Well, today in our wiring series, we are installing our tape wire for our room box. Stay tuned and see how I determine where to lay the tape wire, how to do it, and how to keep track of where my tape wire is later when I go to put my lights in. All right, before we start wiring, or marking for our wiring even, we are going to make ourselves a little handy tool to help us in that marking. So what I've done here is I've cut four pieces of scrap foam core. This is one way to do it. And this will fit my pencil. What we're doing is we are making, that's way too much glue, we are making a kind of a pencil holder, I guess you would call it. So we're going to start with four pieces of foam core here. Or, and what I already have put together and dried, is two pieces of 3 8 inch balsa wood. What you're looking for, and this isn't tall enough yet, this makes this 3 quarters of an inch tall, I believe. Yeah, this is 3 fourths of an inch tall. We're going to need to put a little bit of a shim in it. We need a pencil, a very short pencil. It helps to have a short pencil. In our room box, it's not so important, but when you're working in the close quarters of a dollhouse, Using a really short stubby pencil is a lot easier. Now I'm going to put this like this, and I know you guys can't see this, but I can see if I lay my pencil, let's see if I put this on the white, maybe you can see better. Line this up with the bottom. I can see that my pencil point is almost to the one inch mark. So if I put this is a piece of a craft stick. Let's try fitting that in there. Will that raise? Ideally, yes. That will get my pencil point up to one inch. So we're going to put a little bit of glue here. And we are going to put this on. And now we have a place to rest our pencil. We'd have to do the same thing with this. Just try your pencil. Different pencils are different diameters, you know, you, you just want to make it so that when you draw a line with the pencil sticking off of here, that line will be one inch above wherever you're resting the bottom. So I'm not even going to let this dry. I am going to go ahead and start out. I'm going to take some painter's tape, any kind of tape, and we're going to we are going to tape our pencil to our little block here. Now we've got a way of making a consistent line that's one inch up from the surface it's resting on. So let me, and we'll do the same thing with this one. If you're going to use this, you would do the same thing. You would just make it so, it was, so whatever you use, scrap wood, scrap foam core, anything that's sturdy enough to tape your pencil to, make a little block, and make a pencil that will draw an inch off of the surface. I am going to reorient my camera, bring our room box over, and we are going to start marking for our wiring. All right, so hopefully I have this set up so you guys can see what we're doing. So we have the front of our, of our building. We are going to put a porch light. I will be putting the doorknob on this side of my door. So my porch light needs to be here. I just look up, looked up online looks like about five and a half feet off the floor is where we want to put a real porch light. So that means about five and a half inches off the floor for our dollhouse one. So I have some of these page flag post-it notes. Hopefully, yeah, you're seeing those. Um, we're going to use those to mark where our lighting is going. If you have those little sticky dots like you get in the office store, those work too. Anything that will that will stick on your structure, that will then peel off without damaging anything, is perfect. And it's a good idea to do that in your dollhouse so you can see where your light fixtures want to go. Now let's turn this around. The other fixture we're going to permanently attach will be a ceiling fixture. And our ceiling fixture needs to be in the middle of the room. We don't mark that on the ceiling, at least I don't. I mark it on the floor above because I'm wiring from the floor above. So, we know that our floor is 10 by 10 here. 
So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to make a line, whoops, a line, wrong way, at about five, and again at five. So this is my center point of my room. I'm going to put another post-it there because I know I need to bring le electricity to that point. Now, let's move down and make sure that you guys, I'm going to move the camera, hopefully, without making you guys see sick. Put this back so we've got good light. We have our tool. We are going to make a mark an inch from the floor all the way around our room, all the way to the corner and all the way down this line. Now you can see, I think, why you want a short pencil. If you're working in a small dollhouse room, a full-size pencil would be really in your way. All right, now let's move up. Oh, you can see that. We're going to do another one up here. We're going to pretend like we have a full second floor on our dollhouse. All right, so now we've marked. We also need to mark a line to go up. Um, if you have a dollhouse with a stairwell, I recommend putting the wiring up through the stairwell on the wall. It's easier. We will have to make a space for the wire to come through our um, ceiling up here. So I'm going to turn this. Let's see. If I turn this, yeah, you guys can see. So I've got my wall here. We'll bring it up the front porch wall. So we're going to bring it up here. So I am going to... Turn this like this. I'm going to mark in. I'm going to bring my wiring up about three inches in from the wall, from the front. All right, if you have a small ruler, this would be the time to use it so you can make a line that goes the whole way. I'm going to draw. I forgot to find a short ruler that will fit in my room. This way we know where we're going up. Now at this point, when you're working in a real dollhouse, you would have all of your wood, your exterior would be finished, your interior would be primed with a white primer. Really important because you need to, it needs to be ready to go. It, you don't want to be doing this on bare wood because it won't show and you'll have marks. You need to prime the wood. That way there's no bleed through of anything that's in the wood won't bleed through your wallpaper later. And also it's easier to see your marks. So now I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to get our stuff set up because we're going to add our wiring. All right, I think I am all set now. I have my lead-in wire, my transformer's plugged in, and I have this turned to off, I hope. That is off. I have my junction splice, I have my tape wire, and I have all my tools we used last week when we were doing the practice board. So we are going to start by putting just a little bit of tape here. We are going to come in on the outside and go around, and we'll paint over this later. Now this is the only place we are going to go over the, the edge of our dollhouse. We don't want to be going over that unless we absolutely have to. Now, junction splice. The side with the two holes goes towards the opening. We poke this in and we might need to have, we might need to drill it. There we go. We're in. And we need a little tiny screwdriver because we are going to drive this screw in. Now, if this does not want to stay in the foam core, we can glue it if we have to, but I think it'll be okay. Oops, come on. Now, did I line this up? I did line this up. Something you do need to make sure is that you are lined up with the one inch line over here. I am going to, before I go any further, smooth as I can get it. Now this is a very vulnerable spot. This is where you can have problems if you're not really, really careful. All right, this is on. Let's make sure we have light, we have electricity to our system before we go any further. 
and yes. And you, yeah, you guys can see that's lit. All right. We're going to unplug. We don't want to take any chances. Now, on a room box, you can kind of, you'll be able to see a little better. Now, get yourself, if you're not exactly lined up with your one-inch line, get yourself lined up so that that line is centered between your tape. And try not to have too many wrinkles. Remember, on your dollhouse, you will be, um, you'll have this primed with white paint. In the phone car, we don't need to prime it. And I can see my line for my pencil line is right there. You want it between the two tapes. And we are going to take this. I'm going to cut this off right here. Cut myself enough that it goes pretty much to that end. This trend. Yeah, you can see, let's see. Do I have? I can put it on top of my screwdriver box so you guys can see a little bit better. Make sure that you are all the way into that corner. Stay on your line as best you can all the way around. This is one of the ways, and the less wrinkles you have, the easier this will cover with your wallpaper. All right, now, let's go ahead and plug this back in and just make sure we've got it all the way to the end. Let's make sure we still have power to our wire. We haven't pulled anything loose. Yes. All right. Now, by having that at the one inch mark, we know where our wire is. We're going to do some more things so that we'll know more of where it is later. All right. We are going to go up and do this, li this line, too, simply because it's easier to. I like to do all my di same direction at the same time. So. I'm changing my position. It, pardon me if I do kick the tripod. Now, if you're just doing the room box, you don't need to put in all the tape wire. I'm doing this to show you what you would do in a full-size dollhouse. You would go around each room. We're, we're going to pretend that we have a whole second floor up here. So, do one top. Make sure we're the same direction. And make sure we are on that line. to the corner, crease it into the corner, you can use your thumbnail, you could use like a uh, plastic like gift card or something like that, so that you have it all the way into that corner. That will make your life much easier when you go to cover it later. When you're working towards yourself, you can kind of see if you're on your line. If I was working on this you know, in a dollhouse and I wasn't trying to film, I'd have my head right up here where I could see that I was staying straight. But I don't want to put my head in front of the camera. I want you guys to be able to see as much as possible. Keeping in mind that this is a small space and it's hard to make it so that you guys can see everything. All right, so we have that. Now we can't test that yet because we don't have any power going to this yet. Now, if this had a stairwell, we would come up the stairwell. It doesn't. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to run a knife blade through here. And I'm just going to cut a, a hole. And you can do this in your wood. A lot of times you'll be able to you'll find a place that's loose in your wood. Now, we need to kind of feed this down. Through that hole. Let's make sure we've got it wide enough. Where is our line? Where is our line? It's right, right here. If I do it from the inside so I can see what I'm doing. Give yourself an opening. And kind of pull that through. All right, 
Now, we want to go down past that and past that. We're going to have to take our backing off in two pieces. I'm going to try and stand up here and get where I can see, and hopefully you guys can still see. In your dollhouse, if your dollhouse is small enough that you can turn it, great. If not, you're just going to have to position yourself so that you can see. And... Uh, do the best you can as far as getting the um, pieces off. Let's see if we can get this pulled. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can pull that tape. Yeah, it just pulled right through. It tore. Now we have a straight line of wiring going up. Trim this off a little bit so it doesn't stick up past the top. And now we can make our connections. I'm using grommets because that's my preference. You can use brads if you prefer. I am going to get my little tool end on. Put that there. So that well, I will be finding that in a minute. Put the end of our grommet tool in. And we are going to make our connections just like we did on our practice board. Remembering to go the same direction for your angle and make sure you connect the same colors each time. One. You guys see? Kind of. That did not stay in there. There we go. And we might need to glue them. I'm only going to put one in each connection because I'm at a really bad angle to see what I'm doing. In a real dollhouse, I would be putting two grommets at each connection. Let's go down here and do this one. We want to be consistent in case on a dollhouse, sometimes you will be connecting multiple times. And you could short your system out by connecting the wrong wires together. That's why you always are really careful that you are getting the same colors connected. Plug this back in and make sure that we have a good connection. Plug it into the wall. We're going to retest our original strip here. Yes, we have power. Do we have power on this one? We do not. Okay, we have missed. Okay, so we don't have power here. Let's see if we can diagnose what we've done. Let's try pushing these in harder. And plug it back in. No. Power there. Let's put in another set of grommets. Unplug. We'll put in our second grommet in each in that intersection and see if that helps. Whoopsie! Dropped that off my tool. It is a rather tight area, but we can get two on there. Let's 
now looks like. Everybody keep their fingers crossed out there. First, yes, that's still lighting. Is this, and this is lighting now. Good, we got it. All right, let's see if the top is lighting. And the top is lighting. So we've got a good connection. I'm going to put my second grommet in each of those just so we have them there. Can you guys see where I'm at? No, I cannot. Okay. Again, staying on the same color tape. For a little added insurance, we can put some nice heavy tape over this to uh, help to hold those in a little bit better. Now, let's plug this back in and make sure we still have a good connection. Yes, we do. Now, we need to get onto this surface. We don't have to go all the way to the center. I'm going to cut a piece of our tape wire. That long. Yeah, you guys can see. Be a little more like that way. Come up. I don't need to go all the way to the center, but I'm going to go towards the center. Plug this before I go further so I don't forget. You don't want to be plugged in when you are adding your grommets because if you make a mistake, you could short out your whole system. Now, on a dollhouse, you would just go on into the next room and just continue around the dollhouse however many rooms you have. You would go up however many floors you have. Let's get two in each connection. Okay, come on. I like to use my fingernail just to make sure everything is staying where I'm telling it to. Because the, the grommets can pull out with your, your little punch. So after we do this and test it and make sure it's working, I'm going to take a short break and then I'll come back and we'll get ready to put the wiring in where the front door will go, light will go. Right. Let's plug this in. Let's make sure this one is still that one's still working. Does this one work? Yes. So we are doing really well. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to take a short break. When I come back, we will get wiring in place for this light, and then we'll be done for the day. All right, one last bit of wire to run. Sorry, I had to go do something there. But we need to run a wire to wire into for our front porch light. So we know it's about five and a half inches off the floor, and it's about three inches from the corner. So let's turn to the inside and see where that location is. So three inches is about here. And unfortunately, I have a really long ruler, so I'm not going to measure in here. Five and a half inches from the floor is about... So our light's going to be somewhere in that vicinity. We don't need to know exactly. What I'm going to do is bring a wire across, so I don't have to have my wires anywhere. I could wire into this one. If I wanted to, I could do that. But we'll just make one more little jump here. Bring in fact that's no, not quite long enough. Let's cut a piece of wire a piece of tape wire. A few inches long. 
And then we'll have a good place to wire into. I'll bring it across right about here. Now, on a real dollhouse where you have an actual door coming through, you would simply run a piece of tape wire up right along the door frame, right along the side of the door frame. But I don't have a door inside. So we're just going to do this. I could have also come up if I wanted to. In fact, maybe up would be better. Up will probably be easier to hide. Yeah, I'm not going to get that up. So we'll just use that. Once again, we are, yes, we are unplugged. And we need to make our same connections. So this is really just a process of the same steps over and over. We put our wire down, our tape wire down based on where we want to put our light fixtures. And then we use either grommets or brads to make our connections and then we test. And now if we were going to put um, wall sconces in, like say we had a fireplace that was going to be attached to a wall and we needed to have sconces on each side of it. We would simply run a vertical run of wire, of tape wire up from our wire going around. We just run up a couple of strips. Let's plug this in and make sure it works and then we will talk about where is our connection. Then we'll talk about how we go about remembering where this wire is. It's really pretty simple. So, let's test our, our lights. We are not connected. Yes, we are. Okay. So, now do this one. Yes, and that one lights. All right, so now you've spent some time. You've got your wiring in place in your dollhouse. Our next step will be putting in our wall coverings. So, how are we going to remember where this is? Well, there's a, the thing I usually do... Number one, we know we've got an inch across, inch from the floor and every, every wall. We can use our test probe to help us find wiring. Also, your smartphone, your camera, what, your digital camera, whatever. Get in there and take lots of photos. Let me have my camera open up. Whoopsie, come on. So I would go in and I would take pictures. And not only would I keep those pictures on my computer, one thing that I do, I print the pictures out. I make two copies, printed copies. One I keep in my notebook that goes with my building. Because almost every structure I build, I make a notebook with all kinds of things, including wiring diagrams. The second set of pictures I will print off, put into an envelope, and actually tape to the bottom of the structure. That way, if I need to figure out where the wires are, I know that on the bottom of every one of my dollhouses, there's a set of photos that show me exactly where the wiring is. So with that in mind, that will help me to, to find them. And that, along with this test probe, will help me to find my wires when I go to wire. So, that's what we're doing for today. Next week, we will put our, we'll start putting our interior wall coverings on. And after that, we'll come back and put in our light fixtures. So I hope you found this useful. Be sure and check the blog post for photos. Be sure and ask me any questions you have, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.